he's gonna grow up to be a little gardener. Look at him. Look at how cute he is. Hi friend, welcome back. My name is M, and today we are going to be continuing our decades challenge. I love loading into The Sims and immediately before anything has even happened, hearing that noise. That's, that's great. That really bodes well for us today. Can we do laundry inside from now on? I just feel so bad for them that every, oh, everything's just so freaking small. We don't have a ton of money, but we did start building this kind of addition onto the home which I did not realize didn't have a roof, so we should probably do something to fix that. Um, we're gonna get that wood paneling there, and then... Oh, what kind of roof do we do? Half-hipped roof? What makes the most sense? Uh, I think we have to go up one more. Yeah. Let's do that, and let's pull it down a lot and out a little bit. Wow, I hate everything about that. Let's not do that at all. Um, but we will pull it down and then can you change? No, nope. what is, oh, it's the cottage living one, duh. Okay, so how do they have theirs so like nice and rounded? What the heck? How do? How did they get? I'm guessing it's something with these? Yeah. Okay. Why does theirs hang in such a nice, a nice little way? And ours um, looks terrifying. Why does ours look like that? Thanks, I hate it. How did they do it? Is it like a roof trim or something that I'm missing? Are we just gonna accept that uh, that looks awful? Can I just put a random window here to make it seem more intentional or is that worse? I feel like that's worse. And now we're spending money on things that we don't actually need just to make this look less awful. I, what? Okay. That's adorable. But look at this. What am I supposed to do with that? What? How? <laughs> How? How do? I can't pull this like down anymore. Oh. Oh, great. Now it looks like a giant mushroom. Okay. So we can do that and then just <laughs> bring it in. Cool, cool, cool. Um. Hey, I hate doing roofs, apparently. Who knew? What the? F I hate this. I absolutely hate this. Okay, so if you, f if you try to lower the top, the bottom also gets raised. I just feel like this is the worst thing that has ever happened in the history of Sims building. So, um, I got nothing. Uh, I got no idea what on earth we're gonna do. I feel like what we need to do instead is make like a little, like what looks like a silo, maybe? And let's grab this and let's go down on this level and Just uh, rework that. I am 100% sure we have done this without having to see through the roof before, but okay. Whatever. Yes, I have no idea how we're gonna build this out. I am not a builder. I don't know the 
first thing about building in The Sims. I kind of wanted to do like just a little silo on its own over here, but I don't know what we would use it for right now, seeing as I think right now what we need is just another hamper, I guess. I feel like we can buy a hamper because even though they wouldn't be using a hamper that looks like that in this era, they would have something to put clothes in. And I, I just don't know where a custom content version is that looks more period accurate. So I'm gonna randomly put it right there. <laughs> For no reason other than the house is very cramped. Uh, and I'm gonna have her pick up the clothing piles because it's just a bit of a wreck. Okay, change dirty diaper. Hi, can you take care of your child that I asked you to take care of? Do you think you could do that for me? Okay, so they're just not gonna interact with that. Cool, 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 love that. Thanks so much. Um, let's bring that over here. We will put the books somewhere. We'll put the books over here for now. I will figure out something else later. And I'm putting that little hamper there because the uh, Edward can't walk around the side of that anyway, so. And now she should be able to do it, okay. And I believe, yeah, he's gonna read to Edward. Oh my god, Catherine, I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. You know what, Catherine? You're having a much harder time than your husband. I would like you go get get the tiniest amount of rest in the world. Uh, please. Because, oh my god. This is a mess. This is what happens. The coop is already clean. Well then, what? What do you mean I can entice them to stay if I give them a clean coop and food? From where I'm standing, food is on the ground. <laughs> they need to stop slipping in that mud pile. I will clean the shed though, preemptively. I'm sorry, I know I'm making you do stuff outside in a thunderstorm. I'm aware. I'm sorry, you're gonna have to do it. It's gonna happen. Happiness, oh God, okay. I guess I didn't realize that they could be hungry even with feed still on the ground. Like I assumed if there was feed there, that was it. That's what that meant, you know? Oh my God, if this guy falls one more time. Scatter some feed. And then Let's individually feed some of them too, because some of them, apparently, this hen is not happy. Oh my god, they all hate him. <laughs> they all hate him! Okay, go to the bathroom, uh, take the world's worst bath, clean up some of the dust, uh, clean up after your toddler who is misbehaving so badly. Uh, talk to Chicken about video games, which don't exist. You don't know what those are. Oh, yeah. This is a nightmare. <laughs> this is a nightmare. <laughs> this has made me feel so bad for everyone who lived during this time. This is just the worst. This is the absolute worst. These poor people. Uh, let's hope that he can- You're not gonna be able to get past that. I've, I've played The Sims before. You're not gonna be able to get past that. You should be able to, but you're not. That's gonna be buggy. Okay, let's hope you can do that. Fingers crossed. Catherine sounds like she's crying in her sleep. Okay. Edward, uh, just hanging out watching his dad. Sure, sure. Why don't you come in here and hang out with some 
of the chickens. And then you, my dear, clean up. You know what? We're actually going to have him go and grab some fresh water. Gather some water. Come back in. Oh, I did take bath. Uh, come back in and do take an off the grid bath and then go to sleep. I don't know why. I feel like I've told him to take a bath like three times and he hasn't. And then let's take a closer look at Edward, who is angrily hanging out with the chickens. <laughs> Uh, let's bring Edward inside and I'll bring some food out for him. We'll have him grab something to eat. William has not made a peep since pretty much all sim babies are born and then they're immediately crying and eating things. But William has not said a word. I am very impressed with this baby. Oh shoot, I did not realize we had so many skills that we needed for him. To become a certified barrister, Sim must be able to pass the lawyer's exam. This can be completed as an interaction on any computer. And then reach level two logic. Okay. I wish I wish there were a mod for things like that where you could do off the grid versions. Because obviously you could be a lawyer back then. Meaning there would have been a way to take that exam not on the computer. So we're going to have to... I'll send him to a public lot to do it and we'll pretend that that's him like going in person. We're gonna get him a logic book because that's cheaper than a chess set. Catherine, why don't you go over and change that dirty diaper? Uh, rock that little baby. Cuddle. We'll have you feed the baby. And Elias, you were going to go to work today. All right, research and debate and logic are the skills that we're going to need to work on for him. But for now, uh, Elias, go to sleep. Once Catherine is done, we will have her also deal with that, clean up a little bit. I'm obsessed. He's going to grow up to be a little gardener. Look at him. Look at how cute he is. I hope he can't actually mess anything up over here. Go say hi to the bunny, Edward. Do you see the rabbit? Yeah, that rabbit doesn't seem to like you very much. Okay, that rabbit kind of really doesn't like you. <laughs> Tell a joke about carrots. Let's see if we can turn this friendship around. Why don't we go talk to this rabbit instead? That one really does not seem to like you. Sorry, Edward. Yeah. Oh my god, they're so cute. Uh, Tell a joke about hopping. Let's see how that goes over. For some reason, it involves the police. Interesting for Edward's age that he knows how to joke about that. Um, okay. Can you pat the bunny? Or are they not going to like that? I will never be the same. Ever. Oh my god. Okay. I'm losing my mind. Um, go to sleep. Elias, you're going to be late to work. And Catherine, leave Edward alone because you really need to deal with these chickens. Scatter some feed, collect the eggs, clean the coop. And I'm pretty sure we already cleaned Dingus's shed, but just in case. For chickens that are not super happy, they sure are giving us a lot of eggs, so thank you for that. I'm sorry, we will work on your living conditions. Um, I'm gonna sell this because I feel like this was an actual thing back then where like it, you would find like a copper ore on your property or whatever. And it's not that much money. 
And we didn't look for it intentionally, but since it's there. Did she eat any of this? Yes, she can. Let's look at each of them individually and try and figure out who's happy and who's unhappy. Everyone seems fine. I don't understand why we got such a, a rough review from that one hen. They seem really not happy. We only have two more days until fall. And then let's actually take a look at how many days we have until we hit the 1900s. Because Elias has 11 days till he ages up, which means it's been 13 days. Oh my gosh. Once it says four days till age up, that's when we've reached the next decade. And it might take us a minute, but we're going to get there. Okay. The fact that Catherine is constantly pregnant is 100% going to throw a wrench in this, though. <laughs> it's going to make it a little hard. We're going to have to remember that it's... Uh... <laughs> oh, that's an expense I don't think we wanted. Full, active, and irritated. Great. Okay, let's do all of the work around the farm that your mom used to do. And uh, let's try our best not to mess up too much while doing it. Okay, Edward is fast asleep. William is awake, but not crying or anything. So I think we're okay. And Catherine successfully bonded with the bees. Okay, all right. Okay, once she's done hanging out with some of the chickadees, I think we will have her... Uh-oh. <gasps> they got caught napping together. Okay, so we need to clean Dingus. Get Dingus nice and clean. Yeah, Rimple Ugaru indeed. Plenty of feet on the ground, so y'all need to stop complaining to me about that. We'll give Edward some chores of being the one to like socialize, for instance, with the hens. Because, oh my gosh, apparently they require so much more attention than I thought they did. And <laughs> Edward's gonna come out and hang out and watch, which is very adorable. It's very sweet of you, buddy. Okay, you do not want to be pet, that's fine. We'll just spend a little bit of time getting to know all of them, and let's now refill the feed for Dingus. I, a lot of the time, I feel like the options do not sound good for socializing with the little chickadees. And we'll have her give a bath to Edward in a minute, because oh my gosh. Um, we're going to let Edward be in charge of that. I'm going to check on the water here. Dirty laundry. Ew. Okay, replace the water. I'm not gonna do any kind of additive because that has not led to anything helpful in the past. We'll search pockets just in case anyone left anything. Okay, I don't like that the wild rabbit death notifications come through. Are you kidding me? Why don't you go over and talk about vegetables with this rabbit? And then your mom's going to give you a bath in just a little bit. First, though, she's going to come in and deal with your crying brother. And... Then she's going to get back to the laundry. Oh, I guess we're gonna have to redo that. So if you stop in the middle of it, you can't like resume doing the laundry. Interesting, interesting, that's a choice. Talk nonsense to the rabbit. Let's see how that goes. All of this child's friends are animals. <laughs> He's only friends with animals. Honestly, very relatable. Discuss hopping techniques. What does it take to be friends with these animals? And Edward is very sad. Don't cry, honey. Come over here. 
Come over here. You know what? Hang out with Dingus. You love Dingus. It's gonna be okay. There you go. Look at him learning to walk. <laughs> so cute. We're gonna have to work on his thinking skill later though because he still doesn't. Still doesn't have much of a high think skill. Uh, no idea what's going on with that glitch, but... We'll do unwind with bovine. I did not realize he just witnessed a fox stalking one of the animals. So great. Love that. And then we'll do give Edward a bath. Give Edward a bath and then... Give Edward a bath and then do the laundry, girl. I'm so sorry. I think we need to have her learn to do... You know what? Screw it. I think we need to have her learn to do something else like, like baking, maybe? Because I feel like that's something that she would be able to do at home. It's something that'll help around the house. And... We don't have our own flour. But we do have eggs. You know, there's not that many ingredients we'd have to buy, I guess. She wants to bond with the bees. Awesome. Elias is home from work. Thank goodness gracious. Oh my gosh. Um, Use the bathroom really quickly, please. Thank you. Catherine, I'm so sorry, honey, but you have to read the toddler to sleep and then you can nap. So, Catherine, best of luck. <laughs> I don't, I, good luck, girl. Hang in there, you got this. Elias, looking way too excited to be using the outhouse. And then Elias's fun is about as in the gutter as is humanly possible. So, oh gosh. I was gonna suggest that they woohoo because it would take care of fun and then sleep. But we can't, we always have to try for a baby when we do woohoo in this game. And so we just need to be prepared for that. I think it's realistic. They haven't woohooed in a while. Every time they woohoo, she gets pregnant, but we can't avoid it forever. I'm gonna give them some space. We're just gonna look away while they, while they do that. Are they done yet? It doesn't seem like they're done. Okay. Yeah, the house is very, very, very dirty. And I don't think they're at a point financially where we can justify like literally having a butler, which is something that you can do in this game. You can have them have a butler. Um, you can't have a nanny. That's the thing that you can't do. But you can hire a butler or a maid, I believe. I just don't feel financially secure enough with them yet to spend money on that maybe we can hire a maid to come like once a week i don't like that there's not an off the grid thing that you can do like a broom you know it seems like something that should exist okay Okay, nothing. <laughs> they can make nothing. We need... Can I get them like an outdoor grill or something? I feel so bad that all we do is make forager stew all the time. Forager stew all day, every day. Or right, hey, are you hungry? Guess what is on the menu? Forager stew. Very responsible drinking game. Drink every time I say forager stew in one of these videos. Don't actually do that, please. Please, save yourselves. Look at how cute they are! For as difficult as it is living in this time, because oh my god, this is the worst, uh, the family themselves are so freaking cute. And skills-wise, we have three days until he ages up, and aside from the fact that I have not potty trained him, because I don't know if I can, uh, movement 
is his, you know, not his highest skill, but he's doing pretty well. I think we just... Hello, thank you. Uh, I think we need to do more flashcards with him is the problem. Okay, yes, Elias' fishing is helping his mood. Hi. Change your baby's dirty diaper. What are you doing? Thank you. Catherine has now reached parenting level six. She can make other parents feel better when parenthood gets tough and when caring for babies, she can now see what her baby needs. Oh my God, thank you. And Edward, Edward, look at him hanging out with the ghost of Florence. Oh my gosh. That is so freaking cute. I'm gonna cry. Edward is dancing. <laughs> Edward's dancing with, uh, <laughs> with the floating urn of his grandmother. Adorable. You are so freaking cute. Uh, let's have you, let's have you hang out with your grandmother. I actually think that's really cute. Say hi to her. Tell her about your favorite animal. Tell her some knock-knock jokes. Catherine's going to sleep. William is asleep. All right, James. <laughs> James. <laughs> I'm just giving them random names. I thought his name was James. His name is Edward. The family's last name is literally Edwards. It's the easiest name in the world to remember. Why don't you hug her and Ask to play. I think that's cute. In a weird way, I also think this kind of, we don't have imaginary friends in The Sims 4. And I think having a kid think that they're talking to the ghost of their grandma feels very like 1890s imaginary friend equivalent, you know? Uh, why don't you sit? I, I genuinely don't know if we can use rewards points. Not that I can spend them on much, you know? I kind of wanted to get like Morning Sim or Night Owl to help him with skill building. I don't know if we can. And we're probably just gonna have to send him to sleep to be totally honest. So clean that up. Go to sleep. And Edward! Edward! He's so cute. I can't. Okay. Alright. I don't want to have him ask for things like food, though. I'm gonna treat that kind of like, like imaginary friend style. Just because, I don't know, rules-wise. We're, we're trying to live like it's the 1890s. And if we don't have a third set of hands around the house, I don't know. We can't let Flo help too much. Although this is really cute that she's just sitting and talking to Edward. Look at them. That's so cute. I miss Flo. I felt like she really cared about the family and helping out. And I just thought that was really cute. What is up with that giant rug? There's no way that was there before. Eh. There's... There's no way that we just had a random bath mat under there. I'm gonna have to go back and look at the previous episodes to see, but I do not remember having a bright blue bath mat sitting there. I don't know about that one. I think it's too soon to tell if she's pregnant again or not, so. Her mom's taking the trash out. I love them. This family is so sweet. I'm gonna have her clean up 
the dishes, which they do not have a sink to do that in. So that's where that's happening. Oh, and I keep, rem I keep forgetting that Elias can do woodworking. That is a thing that he can do. So I'm going to have her... I'm very sorry. I know that it's raining. I'm going to have her come out here and... Why don't you take that to the hamper and then let's just do as much laundry as we can. Sorry. I'm so sorry, honey. Which is honestly probably a bad idea because what is it going to dry on the clothesline like this? But... I don't understand. I need to learn the difference. What's the difference between cleanliness of used versus... Isn't there one that's like dirty? I could have sworn we saw one earlier that was like, these clothes are filthy. But I could be very wrong. You were startled by the ghost. That's okay. That's okay. It's of your grandma, remember? Show, show Florence your toy. That'll make you feel better. You won't be as scared. <laughs> I love the Sims so much. And I swear, if it says cleanliness used, pristine! Yay! Pristine! Okay. I'm way too excited about that, but. And then we'll do take to hamper. Edward has fully developed his imagination. He can now view art. Good for you, Eddie. And what about you, bud? Are you at logic level two? Uh, no. Why did you stop studying? Thank you. Catherine. Poor thing. Come inside. I'm just perpetually adding ice. I feel like every single time my sim walks past that thing, they're adding ice, adding ice, adding ice. Um, but add ice. <laughs> and then we will have Elias for once get to handle the baby. Oh my gosh. Uh, I don't know where she got that. Why don't you go to sleep? And hopefully the ghost of your grandmother does not wake you up. We need to give her a nice hobby that she actually enjoys. I've tried to prevent them from accidentally discovering things like that, but she got to her phone once before I could stop her. Fishing. I think cross stitch might be nice. I don't know what else she's allowed to do with the rules of this challenge. I th yeah, we gotta come out here and take care of that before we take care of her needs. I feel so bad, but these animals are gonna get so mad. So clean the coop, scatter feed. They're all upset that they don't have more food. They're gonna start getting stinky like this one over here. Okay, very, very, very quickly. Your food supply is full, so dingus is good. We're gonna clean dingus. We need to, I don't know how to clean the hen. Okay, I think she's collecting the eggs. Yes. Nine eggs, 100 simoleons, thank you. They are at 1,500 simoleons, which honestly, I know that she's probably like just about to have to pay the bills but that's not bad 1500 simoleons considering how much they've been struggling and how little money they have or how little <laughs> how little money they have a little money they started out with i'm i'm pretty proud of that they're working pretty hard change that dirty diaper feed the baby coo at the baby cuddle the baby rock the baby Deal with the baby. And then give Edward a little bath. And then you need a bath as well. Oh my gosh, this whole household needs baths. This is a problem. Edward, why don't you wake up? Thank you. Anytime you feel like it. Thank you. Just in time for Catherine to give him a nice little bath. 
then we're gonna have Catherine take a bath of her own because, oh my gosh, this is a problem. Please, let's hope that she is not pregnant. <laughs> let's hope she's not pregnant because I cannot imagine this getting more stressful than it already is. And then let's take a look at his skills, maxed out communication and imagination, no potty because, I don't know, maybe I'm just stupid, but I don't know. Uh, how kids were potty trained in 1890s. Um, let me just Google that. Okay. All right. The history of potty training. <laughs> I'm learning so much. In the 1800s, babies had cloth diapers and they would just like hang them up to dry when they soiled them apparently because cloth was limited. The more you know. As people became more aware of bacteria, infections posed a higher concern and proper toilet training rose as a top priority. What year? It says the onset of the 20th century. What year? The history of potty training. Hit me with it. What year did you start doing this? Late 1800s, early 1900s, they would put cloth babies. They wanted the child to go in a designated pot rather than a dirty diaper that they would have to clean. Okay, when? I'm gonna guess that we can do that in like 1900, unless I see something that says otherwise. Yeah, I, I there's nothing that's like pinpointing it. It just keeps saying the late 1800s, the late 1800s. So I'm gonna say for the sake of keeping the challenge appropriately tough. <gasps> oh, poor baby. Oh my goodness. Who are you? Are you a little fox? This poor baby. Okay, Jamie, I'm very sorry. I wish I could make like a little a little shelter for them so they could get out of the rain, but like you can't you absolutely cannot come and steal the eggs here. I'm sorry. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know how Edward managed that, but... Happiness, unhappy, hunger, starving. There's food. Right. There. Let's get our feed nearby. Feed Hensky in particular. Feed Brown Hen. There's food on the floor. Is this like bugged? They can't eat that? I'm just gonna scatter so much feed. And I'm gonna feed them individually. There we go. I guess let's try talking to some of them. Even though they all hate us. Yeah, grab some food. Oh no, she's sick. Oh no. Okay, so we're not allowed to use medicine. So... We're not allowed to use medicine. Let's just hope that this works. Let's try... Brew Herbal Remedy. Okay, we definitely don't have the stuff for that. I guess let's just try to nap it off. I don't, oh no, this is not gonna go well. Okay, neighborhood action plans. Clean energy production, solar panels, wind turbines, dew collectors, self-sufficiency. Uh, we definitely wanna vote for that one because fishing, gardening, and handiness. Absolutely, power conservation. Yes, 100%. And home cooking, for sure. We do not want Yeah, six, four, and three. Uh, I feel like we should really make sure this one wins because we need power conservation, those benefits, because that's like the one thing that we're for sure gonna stick to in the next couple decades, conserving power. Uh, so you go get some sleep. Let's actually interact with the baby a little bit more before you go to sleep, that way he doesn't wake you up too much. But I have a feeling William is going to age up while she's asleep so we might not have to worry about it too much and oh god for a second i thought that was her realizing she was pregnant but that's because the baby was just born uh 
Is she still sick? I don't think she is. Maybe, maybe she wasn't sick after all. Maybe I misread that. I thought she was sick, but I guess we'll see. Let's spend a, a little bit of time. I know you're already clean, but it just seems like a bonding thing. I feel like Dingus would appreciate getting a nice little comb. Yeah. Good job, buddy. Good job, bud. We'll give you a nice little pat before we go back in. And then we should probably deal with the bees. Because I feel like it's been a minute. They are active and irritated. Ugh. Collect the beeswax. There's not enough money to collect. Okay, let's collect the beeswax. And hope that they don't get too mad. Move beekeeper suit. Why don't you try bonding with the bees really quickly and then you can go back and go to sleep. They're irritated and I don't quite know how to make that better. I can't. Yeah, they're going to turn on him. Man. I don't feel like I have a great sense of just like innately understanding how to take care of all of the bees. <laughs> I clearly do not understand how to do that. And uh, Elias, why don't you come over here, clean that up, clean that up, and let's check and see. Yeah! Oh my goodness! Okay, so sell all chrysanthemums. And then the taro plant. That's kind of cool. We can evolve that. Okay, bluebells. What's this one? Pomegranate. Taro. Apple tree. Snap, snapdragon. Fall and spring. Okay, so we have one day left. Yeah, tomorrow. So I guess actually we can do sell all. Because we're waiting on Snapdragon and Strawberries, I believe. And Strawberries will not be until Spring. I'm not sure where I put them. Yeah, Spring. But we do need to... I believe we have to get a sample of Snapdragon and graft it onto the Strawberry, if I'm not mistaken. The good news is we just made a ton of money doing that. Like a ton, a ton of money. Uh, What... Are you mad about you're just very very hungry okay let's check there's nothing for you that's wonderful all right elias time to cook off the grid why don't we try some forager stew for a change i feel like we should just like get a little wild with it you know like why not why not just a little bit edward is very hungry yes i know i'm working on it i'm sorry Oh, did she feed him? I can't tell. Talk like a pirate to Dingus. No. <laughs> Sweet baby. Dingus is so cute. I'm going to check and see if there are any bills that we need to pay. Okay. Hang out with the chickens. Catherine also going to hang out with some chickens. Trying really hard trying really, really hard to make these chickens happy. And Catherine has gained the outdoorsy lifestyle. Good for you. You do live on a farm after all. I'm glad that worked out. Give the cow a nugget of advice and then pet Dingus. You have fun. You have fun hanging out with your little cow friend. I really don't know how to make them not irritated. I guess just bond with them some more. I, I genuinely really do not know. Uh, yeah, she did not do very well milking that cow, but that's fine. Elias can now catch catfish and tilapia. With a steadier hand and sharper eye, he will have a better chance of reeling in treasure while fishing. <gasps> Fancy. That is dirty laundry, so we're going to set that down. And you know what? We're just going to let little, <laughs> little Edward do whatever it is that he's doing. Elias really wants to get that promotion. So now that he's in a little bit better of a mood, let's do read that logic skill. And in these three days off, we're going to have him take his basically the bar exam, I guess. Replace that water. Let's get some laundry going. We do not have flowers to add. <laughs> so let's 
take to hamper. I think if we take some stuff to the hamper, it might like... What would be the word? Coalesce with... It, it will be joined together with other bits of laundry. Uh, I'm not going to talk to the dust bunny, but I do think we should have him socialize a little bit more. So I'm going to have him come over here and hang out with the chickens. And then hopefully... Yeah, his movement skills going up. I wish there was something that we could have him like easily do to get his thinking skill up. But unfortunately... I haven't found a super easy way other than the parents showing him flashcards. But between her trying to keep the ranch slash garden slash household running and Elias trying to get promoted, we have not had a lot of time for like parental bonding. Literally 90% of this series could just be me watching her do laundry and them making foragers stew. I've learned that they did laundry a lot in the 1890s. Uh, you know what? Elias, that's actually a, a good a good call. I'm glad that you stopped working on that to come over here because let's have you spend a little bit of time hanging with the youngin and then do some flashcards, okay? Once Catherine has done the laundry, we yes. are going to send her over to the garden because there is a lot that needs to be done. And she is sick. So, oh gosh. I don't know... I don't know what we can do to... We can't buy her medicine. We can only make herbal remedies and we don't like no herbal remedies that are specific to this, I don't think. Insect repellent and sadness alleviation lotion. Like neither of those are going to be helpful here. We need a higher skill in it. Noxious elderberries or elderberry and firefly. We don't have either of those things. I don't know how we can practice that skill unless we can get a book for it. But like, I don't even know what that would be. Ooh, okay. The laundry's actually clean. We'll replace that water. And once this has dried out, then we'll be able to actually... I'm proud. That laundry, we're on a freaking roll. Uh, come over to the garden. Let's get some weeding done. And William is still, I mean, not to jinx it or anything, but William has not cried in a while. William's like the best behaved Sims 4 baby. It's probably all in my head. They probably all cry the exact amount of times. The exact same amount of times, but they are so cute. You're doing great, Catherine. You should be very proud. Your garden's looking beautiful. Getting all those weeds up. I don't know if anything needs to be watered. We'll do sell. Uh, should we be selling everything? Let's see if there's anything. I think that's the only one that could evolve. And then I think I hear William crying. I don't think we can use any of these in any of the herbal remedies so far. So we'll hit sell all. In which case, add ice. Clean out spoiled food. Oh my god. Nobody told me this challenge would be so repetitive. We'll probably have her work on some cross stitch in a little bit. I just like, I do like the idea of her baking. Cross stitch is more for selling a product at the end of it. But I like the idea of her baking and then the family having more food, you know? And then let's see, since they have a bit more money, let's try once again to uh, improve the house a little bit. We can only do stuff made out of wood, which I think is gonna be the, the tough thing here. We might just end up having to go for outdoor furniture entirely. Yeah. So let's look and see, which one is this? Hello? Sweet nothings bench. Do you not exist here? Am I making you up? Oh, in love seats. Okay. Comfort two. That's also comfort two. And that's wood. That's comfort one. And that's wood. Great. Wood looks super comfortable. I'm learning. Uh, I guess let's look for a bench that doesn't look like it's made of anything else other than wood. It's just going to be comfort two, isn't it? 
Wow, turns out it was really uncomfortable back then. <laughs> turns out, um, everything sucked. Did you know that? I'm learning that. So since we can't upgrade that, uh, let's look and see if I want to find a bed, but I hate losing like the aesthetic of this one. Which one is it that I'm using right now? That's just, it just says double bed. Energy eight? What? What? Oh, I think I got them this one, the cozy crafter bed. In which case, honestly, that actually is probably the best we're gonna do. So never mind on that front. Okay then, what else can we actually get them? Uh, kids stuff? Like, I don't think we can really buy them much of anything. I don't know if high chairs were a thing back then. I don't know what year dollhouses were invented. So that should have been something I should have looked up. My bad. I know we're not able to use those things. Kids decorations. I don't think we really have the money to be doing that necessarily. Let's just look at off the grid stuff. Off the grid is a pretty safe bet for us. Let's grab, can these candles go up here? No, and we don't really have a side table anywhere to put these on. Uh, off the grid, I guess we can do this. Like we can do more candles everywhere. I definitely do think it adds something. It makes the place look less dingy, even though it still is very dingy. We have 1600 left. Let's get them some more rugs. Because I know that we are able to do that at least. We should just, you know, keep in mind that we want it to look as much as possible like something that actually could have been made. So we'll probably stick with things like this. But let's look and see, like, can they fit a rug in here? I just feel like they deserve a little something, you know? We'll just put that there so she has something to stand on when she's at the kitchen. And I guess that's it. I guess we just got them some extra lights and a rug, which... We'll set candles to auto lights like I always do. And there's no bills so far. So, so far so good on that front. And I guess come over here then and sit while you read. Okay, I forgot she's sick. Let's have her, I don't know which one means nap and which one doesn't. Let's have her do that. And then we'll do, let's do purchase books and see, is it like herbalism, herbalism? How do you say it? Let me know. Yes. Oh my gosh. Okay. So let's do that. And actually let's have her then read that book because we need to have, I should have been doing this. I should have been doing this from the start. I should have known that at one point somebody was going to get sick and that we would need to have that skill in the house somewhere. Ah, ah, Borda. Why do I feel like he builds skills so slowly? He wants to buy a card table and get a promotion. All right, there's a lot going on there. Sweet little baby Edward, uh, come over here. Spend some time with your friend Dingus, who for some reason does not seem to like you very much. <laughs> there we go, there we go. Yeah. And then we can't forget that today is William's birthday. So we're about to go from having one baby and two toddlers to briefly having two toddlers. Edward will grow up tomorrow. I think it's safe to say that Catherine is not pregnant. So I don't think we have to worry about that. But let's check in age wise and see how we're doing on time. We are five in-game days away from hitting the 1990s. I'm so excited. I feel like I want to use their money to get them like an extension in the house or something. But I just, hey, I mean, I'm not a builder. I have no freaking idea how to do that. I don't know how to make the bees less irritated. I'm gonna have her, I guess, try to bond with the bees. Maybe they just need some friendly socialization. I don't know. No, we're not gonna make a mess. We're not gonna do that. <gasps> and William aged up. I've been randomizing, so we're gonna keep sticking with that. And William is angelic, which I think suits him very well considering what he was like as a baby. Look at him! Oh my goodness, he's so precious. 
We are going to very quickly uh, get a mirror. I don't actually keep the mirrors in the house. I buy them when they age up and I need to change their outfit to something more period appropriate and then I delete it, but let's check in with little toddler William. Oh my gosh. I like that the boys look similar, but they don't look identical, you know? Do I have like a tiny little top hat or something for him? No. <laughs> oh, but I do have one of these. I don't know if that's accurate for the 1890s, so we're probably not gonna use it, but oh my God, that was so cute. Um, should we give him a 90s boy band look for the 1890s? What kind of haircut would they have had? Uh, I feel like I have to go with something just like closely, closely cropped. Cause like even that, cause I guess that looks disheveled, but it does look like it's been cut to give them bangs. Okay. That's it. That one is very cute. I can't not use it. That's so cute. All right. Let's look at full body outfits. I know that I installed custom content. Where did it go? Cause like as much as I would love to put him in this adorable thing with a little backpack, um, not really period accurate. So we're gonna try our best. We're going to do something similar to what we did with his brother, but we'll go a different direction and we'll give him these kinds of overalls. I know that it's not exact and I wish that I had better stuff in place for this period of time for the little kids. I'm trying to get shoes that'll kind of blend in a little better, but I don't think they exist. We're working with what we've got. It'll get easier as we make it to another gen. Okay. We're gonna do little sockies. Little sockies. And get you some little shoesies. Uh, for sleepy time, let's go with... Let's go with the same one that his brother has, just so they'll be match matching, because I think that'll be very cute. For a party outfit, you're just gonna go with the same thing. I'm sorry, we're gonna keep it very limited because I also assume they're not spending a ton of money on getting their kids different outfits for things. You know what I mean? So I don't think that's too unrealistic. You can do swimming in, I think we should actually have you do this. I think that's more accurate. I can't remember if I did that with our first one or not. And then for hot weather, unfortunately, we don't actually have a super accurate hot weather one. I'm gonna just give you a different color overalls. I think that's probably best. And then we'll do some brown shoes. And then for winter, I feel like all the buttons look really modern. We'll do just like warmer, warmer uh, thingies. There we go overalls it's just it's a very overall based <laughs> wardrobe for these toddlers we don't own much besides overalls and henleys i don't think they had henleys back then but you know what we're working with what we've got look at how cute william is oh my gosh hold on come here for just a second look at this so sweet little baby I genuinely think this family is so cute. I love them so much. I think that's where we're going to call it for today. I am very excited that we got to see William grow up. I'm glad that we have not had any more pregnancies thus far because I don't know if we can handle more kids. And I feel like we're getting there with the finances. So thank you so much for joining me. I will see you on the next one. Bye.